Hey folks, uh, afternoon even. Um, yeah, had uh, three days off work. Been in for a training day today, and it's not been busy, but we've been we've been kept busy, and uh, it's good. Time's passed. Uh, I've got four shifts this week, and then as you've already been made aware, I'm up to Derbyshire this week for the uh, rest of the van to be completed. Uh, I'm rather excited by that. I'm going to see Stevie Wonder and Christo. Uh, one thing I did notice: uh, split charger on battery is not uh, not seem to be doing anything. I had a problem with my last one, whereby um, I don't know the fuse went on it, but it weren't clicking on and clicking off. I know on your 06s they sometimes have a problem on some at forums, so we're just going to locate where it batteries. I think it's under one at Footwells. That's, uh, you have like jump start bits under bonnet on these, so the battery they tend to put in, uh, in footwell compartment under like a little canopy. Uh, so we'll have a look at that. Might be a case of whipping fuse out, that's what I used to do and putting it back in again. And uh, it just basically realigns it. Other than that, solar's working a treat, up to 13.6 amps, charging, discharging. So I've got enough electric. I uh, just want to make sure that's working, obviously in between. So if we stay in one place for any period of time, and for some reason, you know, it's, we don't get a great deal of uh, sunshine. It's freezing. I want to make sure if we uh, if we drive, we're going to get a bit of uh, a boost in the batteries. Otherwise, I might look at uh, some AGMs. I know uh, is it Project Amber, and I think uh, Lost in Europe have uh, moved over to them, and they've got a good setup, battery to battery. So I need to understand how that works. But I, my last fan, I had split chargers, and I got enough power. So there's no reason why this shouldn't uh, shouldn't be the same. So we'll have a look at it and see what uh, what the crack is. So located the uh, the offending split charger. Um, I had a problem last time when I had a split charger fitted, and they're not the most reliable of things to be honest. This one Amber Valley, I've not used them before, and. It's when, I've, when I just flick the ignition now, there's no clicking, clicking off, and the, I think there's a Jurit one which is 140 amps, 12 volt split charge. It has an indicating light on there, and uh, at least you can hear it clicking on, clicking off, and the light illuminating, even though you can't necessarily see it. At least it lets you tell, tells you that it's actually doing something. Whereas this, you know, there's nothing on there to indicate what it's actually doing. It's a silent, silent thing. So it's either not working or it's it's very silent. So uh, should I give it a bit of a clean up? I've never had that off to be honest, and it's covered in uh, loads of sand. So I'll give it a bit of a clean up and uh, get the cover back on. And then after order, I don't even think it's worth testing to be honest with you, because you know there's nothing coming through it. And uh, the fuse, I think it's, it's it should be an inline fuse on it, a blade fuse, which would probably be in the box. Uh, where all my other electrics are for the the leisure batteries, but I think even that I just you know, I'd just sooner replace it. I'm not not say I'm not au fait with these ones. I just uh, I'm used to the other ones, so at least I, c I can see something happening with the other one or hear it. Um, you get these problems in vans, you know, camper van conversions. Not everything you buy is you know totally uh, totally reliable, but. I think uh, 30 40 quid should be anyway we'll uh, we'll try uh, try another one and see how we go on with that but uh, at least I uh, certainly know where it is now and uh, how easy it is to get to just disappointing that uh, it needs replacing but anyway yeah uh, another job for Steve next week keep him busy So, it's all back down again, it's all covered over, so I'll try and get one of those uh, those split chargers ordered. Um, and I got one from Chesterfield last time I was up in Derbyshire, but I don't know uh, how much stock they've got. What you won't have seen is the completion of, uh, of the heater and the location. So, uh, I don't know whether you've seen this. I can't remember if I've showed it yet, but uh, in a nutshell, ignore this piping because that's a bit of ducting that's left over. But that's where the hang on a minute, let me 
illuminate that a little bit. Uh, put some light on. Uh, sure is that light. So yeah, that's the Airtronic Herbispatcher heater. It's on a metal plate. Obviously, it's ducting out through through the van. Uh, hang on, I make the light the screen's gone off. That's it. Um, it will be boxed in, uh, but it'll be boxed in in such a way that it's serviceable. When they service it, they literally just unbolt it from that face plate, strip it down. But it's something ridiculous, like I don't know. I, I think I might have got it wrong. It might be five thousand hours or fifty thousand hours. It's a lot of hours, put it that way. I and mean, it's it's going to take me donkey's years to to get it ramped up to its serviceable time. But I think I'm like most things. I kind of tend to over service stuff. So every couple of years, I'll probably have it serviced anyway. But uh, it's an Urbeth Batcher, and it's. Uh, very very highly recommended by many van lifers uh, expensive very expensive when you can have them for probably a third of the price uh, you can have them a tenth of the price if you buy a Chinese one but then you run the risk of burning down uh, whereas these uh, well fingers crossed <laughs> are very uh, very liable uh, but that's our little heat source for the for the winter months uh, the weekends away uh, the holidays up north when it's a little bit cold outside and I'll show you as well <laughs> you want to see this that bit of pipe in there I'm gonna have it boxed in and it'll be ducted out that gives you the, the bit of uh, a bit of fresh air to service the the intake but uh, I've obviously emptied the van for all that let's just close this uh, the Easy Smart controller that I was going on about was oh, just turn this down a bit. Turn down, turn down. Oh, that's the little Bose. It's great. Yeah, the Herbispatcher controller. How tidy is that? I don't think you can make that out. Again, I'll put the light on for it. But that's a thermostat, and uh, basically just. You can set timer, seven day timer through it, uh, fast start, and it will link to uh, the Web Start Pro. So I'll be able to set it using my my phone, a bit like your Hive at home if you've uh, if you've got one of those systems. Uh, so yeah, the van will be going up to Steve. Units all down the top there. Units across the top, and then from about here. There'll be units down there. I'm going to have some underlighters uh, here for the hob. And then just here for where they sit and eat. And then in the back, Becky's having a lounge. Uh, at the back there, there'll be a couple of ex like flexible, extendable LED lights uh, for reading. Not that I do much but reading. Uh, but it just means there's a, a light at the back there instead of these big bright lights that are in the ceiling. Uh, but all LEDs. So that'll be happening on Monday morning. So we've got the wood ready, and it'll just be a case of having that uh, that fitted, and then just got the boot space to sort out and those side bits down the side of the mattresses. But I don't envisage doing them before Christmas, well, maybe in the winter months. But yeah, these are my new steps uh, for Becky's little legs to step up. If you're in for a new set of steps, they fold down to literally that thickness and the straight, and they'll fit nicely in that gap there. And they look really cumbersome, but I'll show you now. Hang on a second. Let me just put this rubbish down because it's annoying me. And hang on. that's how thick they are. So they're quite quite shallow not not too heavy but they've got like rub, non-slip rubber feet on and really robust and they take 150 kilos well I'm nowhere near 150 kilos yet and uh, take my weight solid okay. perfect so we can get into bed now without uh, breaking an X and uh, that's where the the air duct is for the uh, for the heater so it's unbelievably powerful when it comes on and within minutes 
you are hot or warm. Obviously you find a temperature that suits. Once you find a temperature and you're comfortable by it, then you just set it to that and it'll click on and click off periodically. It's the Ferrari of vans. Cushioning's on orders, that should be with us next week as well. I spoke to Steve about, so the back cushion and the seat cushion should be with us. And then <laughs> we're good to go. Good to go. Off road, look at the depth on those bad boys. Off road. It's not four by four, Barn, but it's uh, it's got the look, the swamper look. Yes, I was thrilled when I got those. Those wheels are wicked. So it's rocking, it's rocking the look. Just need to sort out these last few things. And it's proper chunky. Oh yeah, there's the exhaust for the... It's a tidy little thing, isn't it? It's quite a tidy job. It's fastened it to the existing exhaust. So, uh, that's where the... Uber the Batcher comes back out. And it is very clean for the environment, surprisingly for a diesel eater. You wouldn't think that, but uh, they are very, uh, very clean to the environment. So yes, I'm uh, going to go and... Uh, have the last beer in the fridge now, put my feet up and chill for the evening and, and put the right bins out because I've just put the blue ones out and I think it's black bins today so uh, I've got to swap these then yeah, I think it's definitely yeah, definitely black bins right, speak to you in a bit